this way and here we are go ahead make yourself at home get nice and comfy um by the way i haven't properly introduced myself it's so nice to meet you my name is dr diddly lang lang chang ching ming dennis uh but you can just call me mr chang uh i'm gonna be your math tutor for today so your mom told me that uh you wanted to start some tutoring sessions with me because you're having a bit of trouble with maths yeah and she told me that you had a math exam actually next week so she thought that maybe it would be a good idea to get your boy mr chang to help you out with uh some of the problems maybe you're facing with maths well no worries buddy because with me as your tutor i can promise you that you'll at least get an 85 percent in this math test you know most of my students who study with me get high 90s you know i'm extremely qualified um i've tutored thousands of kids i graduated from the ibu yes the ibu the international plumbing university what does that have to do with maths i cannot believe you just said that yeah i was specialized in toilet maintenance um pretty tough job did that for a few years um went to this dodgy school and they uh they hired me to be head of the math department yeah i dropped out of high school in about year two in the second grade um and look i turned out just fine doing pretty good they gave me uh this white button shirt and now i feel pretty smart all the qualifications that i have um well i'm asian so i basically am maths aside from that i've worked at jones barbecue and foot massage uh for about three years yeah i'm the guy in the bird costume i've also worked as a cashier so had to deal with a bunch of small change doing that quick maths in my head you know how much is it for a double quarter pounder meal with large fries and an extra coke 550 did that in my head so you're gonna be in great hands i'm gonna take real good care of you i can assure that by studying with me you're gonna do fantastic so yeah you have that math exam next week Okay, well, yeah, what I was reckoning was that um, we could just kind of uh, spend today preparing for that exam, just go through some of the topics that are going to appear in that exam. So, yeah, so um, what were some of the topics that were going to pop up in your mathematics examination next week? Okay. subjects in today's session just do a bit of a um crash course on some of those go through the basic principles the formulas um that you're going to need to know for that exam and then uh you know you should be you should be fine you're getting like 95 percent blood don't even worry with me you're gonna pass with flying colors just don't understand how could you have failed this exam Look, I even got you to write the formulas with permanent marker on your leg going into the exam. I gave you the formulas and you still found a way to fail. How did you manage to do that? What? What do you mean I gave you the wrong formulas for the math exam? I literally wrote the formula on your leg, the formula to how to make a chocolate blueberry muffin, the ingredients, the formula to make that muffin. How is that not in the exam? Look, I think you're just going to a very bizarre school. Oh, how would I know? Because I didn't go to school very funny. Okay, look, I get it. Maybe there was some sort of mistake. Maybe they gave you the wrong paper. So what I think we can do in today's session is um, let's just go through the exam that you got back and just see where you went wrong. Look at the sample answers and try and figure out where you went wrong, what happened. And um, maybe we can try and figure out what went wrong exactly that led to your mark. Okay, so I have a copy of the exam I just got here on my clipboard. I uh, went ahead and photocopied it out. So, um, yeah, I'm taking a look at your exam. And, um, yeah, look, it says you got, it says you got 6%, which, um, that's pretty good, first of all. You got six whole percents. So, um, 
in my eyes, I see that as an absolute win. Yeah, I'm taking a look at this exam, and uh, you weren't joking. They, they really weren't um, fooling around in this exam. It's actually quite difficult. I can even see why you got the first question wrong. Yeah, it is quite hard. How about I'll try to do the first question by myself first, and um, I'll tell you how I did it. Yeah, so let me just take a look at the first question. Um, Just like so. 
Okay, so now the apples and the blueberries, they come from the magical tree of life. The magical tree of life. Okay, so you're going to draw two arrows showing where those fruits, where you got those fruits from, okay? Because you always got to show your working and maths. So draw your tree of life it has to be the tree of life and it has to be exactly like this, okay? Go ahead and color in your tree. I have to make sure to color in that tree, otherwise you won't get the marks. Um, at this point, you can color in the leaves. So you're just really showing you're working out. You have to show you're working out always. Uh, make sure that you use it just like that. And uh, there you go, there's the tree. So now, obviously, uh, at this point, what you're going to want to do is just draw those four big juicy apples on the tree, just like so, one, two, three, four, and then draw your two organic blueberries on the other side of the tree of life, just like so, okay? And it's beautiful, just like that. Now, at this point, the magical dragon of the West comes down every other fortnight year, and he comes down to consume the fruits of those uh, apples and or uh, those are uh, blueberries. So you're gonna want to draw your magical dragon. His name is Ginger. Now you'll notice that this is where we get the answer because the dragon is upside down, six years old. Okay, very important to know that he consumes the fruit, and you can see just like that, upside down nine, just like that. And there you have it. There's your solution. Always make sure to show you working. Very simple. For this next question, you got to find X, you got the hypotenuse, you got to find that hypotenuse using Sokotoa, but here we go, that's how you find X, just like that, just circle it, and uh, full marks, so there you go, hopefully my explanations and working out helped you understand a bit more, maybe as of why you didn't get those marks, so look, you win some, you lose some, mission failed, we'll get him next time. So I think what we can do uh, for the remaining duration of today's session is just try work on some basic arithmetic. Yeah. Okay, so what I have here. Are some questions and all I'm just gonna do is test out your arithmetic. Okay, okay. So um what's five times two? Twenty. Um, how about six plus three? Upside down six, correct. Um, yeah, and uh, what about two times eight? Oh, you're not up to that on your times tables. Okay, um, all right, well, how, how about, you know, how are some of your other subjects doing, like English, history, geography, science? So you're struggling a bit on those two. Okay, well I'm Asian, so I pretty much know every language. Um, for English, uh, what letter of the alphabet are you on? Me personally. B. <laughs> okay, and um, in English, what sort of texts are you guys working on at the moment? since, well, I actually can't even read. Yeah. Yeah, I can't read. But that's fine. It's whatever, right? Let's go through science. Um, I'll ask you some basic questions on science. And you can just see, uh, see if you know what the current curriculum is. Okay, so what are you doing in science right now? Anything? Okay. So, I'll just ask some basic questions. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for salt? Do you know what? Okay, so it's sodium and chloride. So do you know what the chemical symbols are for sodium and chloride? NaCl? No, it's RBF2, R2D2. Okay, um, how? Is a baby formed? Yes, this is science, it's biology. How are babies created? Ew. Dude, that is so gross.
Rose, why would you say that? Okay, they are created when several people gather around and perform the Charlotte de Coupe, a sacred ritual. A massive bird then comes and takes that baby, stores it, and flies across the country, where it then deposits that baby on the doorstep of a random individual. That is how babies are created. I don't know what you're talking about when you talk about that kind of stuff, but, um, yeah, no, nah, I don't know what you kids are doing these days with the whole Fortnite, Minecraft, Creeper, all men stuff, but I don't really want to have a part of that. What class of species do mammoths come under? It's obviously insect. Which of the following animals are carnivores? Okay. First animal, panda bear. Second animal, mouse. Third animal, jaguar. Which of those three animals is a carnivore? Do you know what a carnivore is? Of course you don't know what a carnivore is. A carnivore is an animal that only eats plants. What are you talking about? Look, I don't really know why you're trying to get in a debate with me. Clearly, I am the smarter person here. Right, I got a fancy white shirt, and I managed to scam some people into giving me this job. Okay, thank you. Correct, it is the mouse that is the carnivore. Next question, this is to do with, um, what other subjects do you do? Okay, what language is this? Bonjour, je ne suis pas. Obviously, it's Japanese. I'm Asian. I know my languages. Bonjour is clearly Japanese. It has the Japanese dialect. Okay, look, I think we're going to have to contact your mom and schedule out some more sessions because clearly you're having a lot of trouble with more subjects than just one. And if you can't even figure out how to do the first question on an exam, which is the name part of the, the exam, frankly, I think you're going to need a lot more help. So what I'm going to do is talk to your mom. Maybe we can schedule in some more sessions. But um, that's going to wrap it up for today's session. Now, if you thought I did a pretty good job, if you've been liking working with me, go ahead and make sure you give me five stars. So that lets me know that I am doing a good job and um, you want to see me more in the future. But uh, I'm going to head off now and um, help tutor another kid. Yeah, I'm helping them in um, piano. I can tutor them uh, music as well. Well, I have do I play piano personally? No, uh, I play the triangle, but you know, piano, triangle, they're both music. I was pretty good with the triangle in the second grade before I dropped out of high school. So now I'm just kind of trying to teach this person piano, this 15 year old student who is sitting their, um, uh, their highest level grade exam for piano. And they just accepted me because, um, well, I'm Asian, so I, I just know how to play piano. Anyway, I'm going to head off to that now, and I'll see you later. 